Hi friends, welcome to a new course. This course is titled as Engineering Materials. In this particular course, we will have around 30 to 40 videos. Each video will be of 4 to 8 minutes. The main reason why I am doing a course on Engineering Materials goes like this. Mostly, or at least among my friends, Engineering Materials is a topic or is perceived as a topic in which or which involves a lot of memorization or a lot of mugging up which in turn makes the student less interest, interested in this particular topic but if you read a very good textbook and if you read concepts and if you understand concepts step by step then you will be in a position to relate things or relate the concepts what you will learn over a period of time that makes the whole process of learning pretty more joyful consequently we can remove to a certain extent this extensive mugging up of facts so let me start by asking you a few questions effectively what i'm trying to tell you is the or and what I'm trying to convey to you is the significance of this particular topic. How closely this topic is related to our day-to-day -day life. To start off, let's have a look at your kitchen. In kitchen, we find a lot of stainless steel utensils. Have you ever thought of the reason why stainless steels exhibit very good resistance against corrosion? What makes this stainless steel show this kind of a behavior or exhibit this kind of a behavior against corrosion we will be explaining all these things in this course all of us would have heard about cast iron at some point of time or the other on the right i have shown two figures in the first figure you see a specimen a mild steel specimen which is failed after a torsion test in this particular figure the failure is due to shear in the second figure, I have shown you a cast iron specimen which underwent the same torsion test but now the failure surface is at an inclination of 45 degrees that effectively means the failure is due to tension. So cast irons are very weak in tension. Why they are very weak in tension? And cast iron can be also used to form very intricate shapes like this. What makes what or what gives cast iron all these properties we will be addressing all these things in this course this is yet another interesting phenomena you have a ceramic column like this the moment you start heating it it becomes transparent initially it is opaque as clear from this figure the moment you heat it after a temperature it becomes transparent they are of the same chemical composition even then once you heat it some transformation takes place and the properties are totally different then so what causes this we will be talking about this phenomena also in this course being engineers we all have a huge cra craze for airplanes and space crowns and launch vehicles so what makes composites a good candidate for not just airplane structures but also for the spacecraft structures what are the particular properties what that makes them the best possible candidate for this kind of structures we will have a detailed section where we will talk about different types of composite and different characteristics of composites as well Every day we will come across metal alloys. Most of these metal alloys undergo a heat treatment process to modify their properties. So let's say I have a material in my hand for the time being, let's assume I have a ferrous alloy. You have to achieve a required set of properties for this particular alloy. Now can you go ahead and design a heat treatment process? If your answer is no, once you 
finish this course you will get some sort of elementary idea to go ahead and design a heat treatment process so that at the end of it you will end up with the required properties finally this is the syllabus we will be covering as a part of this course so this particular syllabus is taken from the Indian engineering service syllabus and this portion of the syllabus is taken from the gate syllabus so this course is a good choice for both engineering service and gate aspirants not if you don't belong to any of the above two categories you don't have to be worried you will be definitely benefited you will be able to appreciate the whole subject of material science in a really different way i hope you will enjoy the course as much i did when i created this course thanks a lot